So there's a guy who works at a jewelry store in Eretz Yisrael. Unbelievable, I love this. I love this. One day, so a nine-year-old girl walks into this jewelry store, high-end store, and she says, I'm here to buy a bracelet. <laughs> so he says, okay, what do you want? So she looks in the cases of jewelry and she picks out one of his most expensive pieces, three, four thousand dollar bracelet, diamond bracelet, unbelievable. He says, you want to buy that bracelet? She says, yes. He says, wow, you have very good taste. Who do you want to buy the bracelet for? She says, I want to buy the bracelet for my sister, my older sister. He said, that's very nice. He says, why do you want to buy that, your, your sister this bracelet? So, so he, she says, because she says, I don't have a mother or a father, and my older sister takes care of, of us, and we all want to buy her a present, so we, we put all our money together to buy her a present, and this is what we have to buy her a present. And she pulls out of her pocket a whole bunch of coins, and, and together, all together, she has seven shekel and 80 agarot to pay for a $4,000 bracelet. So, so the jewelry store guy, he says, wow, I, I don't know how you did it, but this is what the bracelet cost. It cost, 4, 000, it cost three, seven shekel and 80 agarot. Unbelievable. And he takes the bracelet, and he, and, he, and he takes it to wrap it up and to put it into the box, in the special box, the bow, and the little, uh, you know, or the little flower on top. And he says, you write a card to your sister, and I'm going to wrap it up. And, and she writes a card, and he wraps it up. And uh, no, he, gives, he puts it in a bag with the name of the jewelry shop on the bag, and off, and off she goes, skipping out of the store, happy as a lark. To be able to give her sister this present, this amazing present. She, they, they pulled all their resources, seven shekel and eighty agarot, big time. Anyways, a few hours later, the sister comes into the store, very apologetic, and she says, I am so sorry for what happened. My sister took the bracelet without, you know, without permission. I'm so sorry, I can't understand what happened. He says, what are you talking about? So she said, what do you mean, what am I talking about? There was a, clearly this bracelet, unless it's a fake, it costs thousands of dollars. And my little sister doesn't have thousands of dollars, so obviously she was not able to pay for it. She doesn't even have ten dollars. She doesn't have, I mean, she doesn't even have five, she has nothing, basically. So, so the man says, you're wrong, you say, he says to her. You're wrong. She paid me in full. Here's the line, everyone. This line is very important. She paid me seven shekel, eighty agarot, and a broken heart. That's what she paid me. Seven shekel, eighty agarot, and a broken heart. And he says to her, I want to tell you something. I lost my wife seven, a bunch of years ago. That's what the man of the jewelry store said. People come into my store every day. They come in and buy expensive pieces of jewelry. But all these people can afford it. When your sister walked in, it was the first time in a very long time since my wife died, I once again felt what love means. He says, take the bracelet, it's yours. It was paid for in full. So what's the word here, everybody? We come to the Banish Shalaylam and we want to buy something very expensive. You know what we want? We want something called life. It's very expensive. It's, it's more expensive than anything. It's the most important thing in the world. Life. Without it, you have nothing. We want to buy life, but we can't afford it. We don't have the money to pay for it. We don't have the zechosim. So we come to the Banu and we empty our pockets. With what? We pull out a Kabbalah here, a Kabbalah there. Chol Yisrael, during a Seres Mei Tshuva. Pas Yisrael, like the Meshavruah says. I picked up the phone, I called someone lonely. I learned the extra five minutes Musr. I will be kind, I won't speak Lashon Har for two hours. All the things we do, all the, all the little Kabbalah, we do seven shekel and eighty agarot. We pulled out of our pockets and we gave it to our Godesh Baruch Hu. And Hashem says, Oh, you don't know how long it's been since I felt what love means. The Baruch Shalom sees how much we're willing to do, how much we love him, and he says, you know what? You touch my heart. Here it is, paid in full. Hashem doesn't need the grand, grandiose gestures. <laughs>